I'm going to use this product here. It's an endoscope that is used for automotive uh, maintenance. This is from OIWAK, O-I-I-W-A-K. <laughs> and they sent us this product to review. So let's go test it out and see how well it works. It comes with some instructions here and a 50 foot endoscope camera. It's a dual camera system with a 4.3 inch screen and you have tactile buttons. It's not a touch screen. Uh, let me turn it on for you guys and see. So the on button is on the side over here and there's a um, SD card mechanism here. Looks like it's got a flash. You can see the camera working right now. So the cool thing about this camera is it's a dual, sc uh, dual screen setup. So you've got two cameras, one on the end of the tip and one on the, the top of it. And you can see here when I move this around, you can see where it goes. Uh, it's pretty high definition um, and the, the light or the LEDs really add a lot to the clarity of what you're looking at. So if I were to look at the throttle bodies here or the V8 logo right there, you can kind of see. And you can also change the, uh, the view. So if you want to look full screen at one certain camera, I'll hold the back button for two seconds and you get a full screen of this specific camera here. Hold the back button again for two seconds and it gives you the other camera full screen as well. So we can go ahead and use one, each one individually. It also comes with a charging cable and this attachment right here which goes to the light to help magnify the light. So if you need more brightness, you can use this right here. You just attach it to the, to the camera light. So far, I think we'll be okay for now. So the plan is to come over here and I have the coil packs taken out as well as the spark plugs. I'm about to take off the spark plugs. These are what the coil packs look like. And then I'm going to take out the spark plugs and I'm going to stick this camera in there and take a look at the cylinder condition. Look for any scratches, scoring, hope for the best, fingers crossed. Okay, so this is a spark plug number one. Just a little bit of oil on the threads, but I haven't changed the valve covers in a while. So the spark plug tube is probably leaking. That's for another video. Cylinder number two spark plug, same thing, a little bit of oil on the threads. So I changed these spark plugs 10,000 miles ago. I think I'm going to go another 10,000 miles before I change them because these are still very good. Now we can go into the holes, the spark plug holes. Let's go ahead and start putting our endoscope in there and seeing what we, uh, what we can find. So this is 50 feet long, so you can use this not only for automotive stuff, but for like looking through drain sewages, uh, all kinds of stuff at home. I mean, th there's a lot of applications for this thing. Okay, so we're going inside. I'm gonna just do the forward, there we go. Okay, so you can see right here, we're going in through this, the spark plug tubing. Dang, it's a tight hole, okay. Going in to the belly of the beast. Okay, there we go. We're inside. So this is the um, cylinder number one, the cylinder head. Uh, I'm going to switch the camera view because I can't see anything. I just see the top. Here we go. Now we can take a look. Wow, this is what the inside looks like. So it's quite a bit dirty in here. As to be expected, our engine is 117,000 miles. But we don't see any, uh, the cylinder walls look pretty clean so far. Just a little bit of carbon buildup up top. That's the, uh, the roof of the cylinder head. Dang, a lot of carbon buildup right there. Need to clean this. <laughs> Put some sea foam in here or something. Yeah, just a little bit of carbon buildup, but um, the cylinder walls look nice and uh, clean. No scratches here. Okay, cylinder number two. Oh, this, th the top of this cylinder looks pretty, pretty interesting. Okay, switch to uh, main view. 
Okay, here's the top of the cylinder head. Just a little bit of dirt up top. Let's look at the walls. Pretty smooth on the walls for cylinder number two. Looking around, a little bit of dust particles there, nothing crazy. So this is cylinder number three and I'm taking a look at the cylinder walls here. The cylinder walls is the gray portion. According to the camera, uh, it is nice and smooth because that's what's contacting the cylinder itself when it goes up and down. You want those cylinder walls to be smooth, no scratches or uh, boring scoring. So nice and smooth here. The very top where it's rusted up there, not too worried about that. That's just uh, engine wear. So the cylinder walls look nice and smooth. This is cylinder number three. Let's take a look at the cylinder head. Pretty nice and smooth. This is the, the top of the cylinder. Nothing uh, major up top here. So the main thing I'm looking for is the cylinder head or cylinder walls, and you're just looking for smooth, uh, a smooth surface. So I'm going to go ahead and do the the rest of the cylinders. We'll let you know if we find anything, uh, and then I'm going to go underneath, change the oil, and stick this inside of the uh, oil drain or oil pan and see what we can find in there. Okay, so I have the oil filter out, and we've been running the velocity stacks for about two and a half thousand miles. This is what the oil filter looks like. So no metal shavings, which is great news. Surprisingly, the filters work well. So I have the camera inside of the oil pan. This is what the oil pan looks like right now. Uh, <laughs> nothing really special. It's empty. Uh, this is the large oil pan couple of tubes here and there uh, I'm not sure what that must be the oil pump or some kind of mechanism all right so this is the condition of the engine oil it's not black there's no metal shavings it looks pretty good condition still lubricating and doing its job this is after 2500 miles with the velocity stacks so very good condition, no issues. So if you come down here, we drained exactly nine quarts of oil. Right there you can see it. Nine quarts of oil. So I'm, I know I'm gonna be filling up nine quarts. So right over here, when you come here, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine bottles. So I have exactly nine bottles of oil that I'm gonna fill up. This video shows you that running the velocity stacks, especially with some proper filtering, does not harm the engine. There's no metal flakes anywhere. I checked the cylinder walls. There's no scoring or scratches. So if I wanted to, I can keep running that setup. Uh, right now, I'm going to run the glass plenum for a little bit just to take a break from it. I love the sound a lot of both. This one's more subtle. The other one is just louder. Um, but I like to kind of switch in between and kind of just see what it's like. Um, I also sold some Velocity Stacks to another subscriber that contacted and reached out to me. So they are all the way in Florida. I sent it to them. Uh, I'm excited to hear back from them and see what they think of it. Okay guys, so in conclusion, this Oiwok um, endoscope with the dual camera setup and the light, the flashlight here, is really well made product. It's well worth the money if you're trying to diagnose something wrong with your engine. You can switch the screens here as shown, so you can get a full screen view. Four and a half inch high definition screen, 50 feet worth of uh, wiring that's pretty rigid. It's waterproof and oil proof. I, I stuck it in the oil pan, there was oil dripping and it's still working as you can see. You also have the ability to record video right here. So you can record a video or you can take a picture with these buttons here left and right and then you also have a settings menu here it comes with 32 gigs of space and right now we have 29 gigs free so this is the space that you're allowed to film video and also take pictures and this is the version here which you can update if you connect to a computer these are the features on the side that's the sd card that came with 32 gigs this is a brightness uh, knob i always leave it on the max brightness 
and then this is battery powered so you can charge it. So far we've been using it for about half an hour and the charge is right around 80% so this will last a while. Plenty of time to do what you need. It's battery powered, you can charge it uh, with the charging point right here at the bottom. And this is the on off switch on the side. So once again, if you are interested in this product, I will leave a link on the description down below. You can check the condition of your cylinder walls, your cylinder head, engine, exhaust. You can even use it for household stuff, stick it into a sewer and see if there's any leaks or uh, cracks in the pipes. 50 feet is a very long amount and you can do a lot with this. So overall, I recommend this product. Uh, thank you so much for sending me this product to test out and review. Uh, Oiwak. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce it, O-I-I-W-A-K. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment down below if you have any suggestions on how else we can use this. There's many different functions you can use this for. I would uh, love to hear your opinions and your thoughts. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Have a good evening.